Oh no, are you kidding? The bo we found the butcher. We found the butcher. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone, you bully. This guy this guy is tough. We can we can take him, but we gotta clear everything else out. <laughs> Leave me alone, you bully. Oh, that's great. I pulled more mobs. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a disaster. This is gonna be an absolute disaster. So yesterday we started a new nightmare series and today we're going to continue doing that. Today we're going to run some more nightmare dungeons. I currently have queued up a tier 8 dungeon. The dungeon affixes for this one are frost damage, which you deal 10% more frost damage, which we don't have. And then uh, the monsters are actually while in combat. <laughs> you get volcanic eruptions and uh, monsters deal additional fire damage. 15% of their physical damage is dealt as fire. So this one's going to be very interesting. While we're diving into that, I wanted to show you a pair of boots that I got just made today. Um, I got it as a drop. It dropped as a yellow, sacred yellow. These are not ancestral, but they are sacred and they are very, very good. They dropped as a, a yellow item and uh, I actually upgraded them and I imprinted the critical strikes as you can see grant 16 percent movement speed which is the absolute max for one second up to six seconds and what makes these really really good is um, not only do they have movement speed i have 15.8 percent movement speed on them but evade also grants 75 percent movement speed for one second because they are upgraded then we have a 20 percent reduction in slow duration which is nice which means we can get out of stuff and not die in aoe and then we also have 24 percent movement speed for killing an elite or uh, for four seconds after killing an elite which is very very good and of course cold resistance which slows us down so the combination of those makes them very very good and these are by far the best boots i've found yet so yesterday we started a new series and uh we're gonna do a new series this is the cozy druid we are continuing the cozy druid series and this is all about running nightmare dungeons for more gear for experience and uh of course for some better items right we're still trying to get experience it's coming along really really nice for much better gear and the boots i'm really enjoying these these boots the run speed is amazing because uh as everybody knows or or maybe everybody doesn't know uh, as much fun as it is killing stuff in one hit with the bear, he is a little slow. The attack speed is slow, right? Because that's the idea is to attack slow, but kill it in one hit. And uh, the run speed's fairly slow, especially compared to a rogue or compared to a wolf druid. So the uh, the run speed's a little slow. So this is a lot more fun, actually, just being running fast. Still not attacking super fast, but running fast is very, very nice. And, uh, oh, look at all the goodies. And we are getting some good stuff, some good sacreds. So running fast is a lot of fun. We are still going to continue working on getting some ancestral gear as we level, as we continue this series, and as we run better dungeons, harder dungeons. As you can see, this one's a little bit easy. This is tier 8. Pretty easy. Stuff's just exploding. Uh, they do hit hard because they charge. They, they do hit pretty hard. But uh, we have more than enough fortification. And uh, we have actually, we have quite a bit of uh, bubble as well. Barrier, forgot what it was called, barrier bubble. So we got quite a bit of that as well going on. And, and uh, this is actually coming along very good. So as we get better gear, as we continue, as I say that, I almost died. And there it goes, got absolutely stunned and wrecked. All right, so I guess this is going to be take two. I got absolutely wrecked there. I got body blocked, stunned, and just wrecked. Uh, this is why you need run speed. And uh, by the way, as I've mentioned before, these videos are real. These are raw. Uh, I don't um, I don't pretend to be an expert at this game. I don't pretend to show off and show you how amazing I am. But I am having a good time. And, uh, you know, sometimes you die. I am not playing hardcore. I'm not that good at the game yet. So I'm not playing hardcore just yet. I'm still learning how to do this, but I'm having a blast. I am up to level 62. I do forget to pop my potions once in a while. Between the extra fire damage that they do and just the raw damage of uh, how much they do, the uh, the thorn beasts hurt a lot. They hurt a lot. And then the other guys that charge, um, you know, we're getting through it pretty good. We're getting through it pretty good. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get a groove. But we are doing a ton of damage. We're just also taking a ton of damage. Some dungeons are a little bit overtuned. This might be one of them. But we are killing them. So as we are leveling, as we are going to be graduating to Ancestral Gear, I believe that is in World Tier 4, which we almost cleared. Look how much my life went down. Wow. 
uh, between the charges and the poisons, my life just dropped in a hurry. That was that was a lot. This dungeon might be overtuned. I'm not sure if I just got charged or they just hit that hard. But as I am leveling in world tier four, we are gonna graduate there soon. I did almost clear the capstone dungeon for, for world tier four. I got stuck on the boss. I asked a friend for help, but since I was very very close to getting a new paragon. Uh, I went out of town. It was 1 o'clock in the morning when I was playing. I went out of town, popped the portal, or I went out of town, and uh, the portal closed. So I wanted to get, like, five or six kills just to get another Paragon to help, and the portal closed. So that that was not a lot of fun, but, you know, live and learn. So moving on. So as we continue and as we transition to World Tier 4, we are going to get Ancestral Light. I am completely stuck. I wonder if there are traps or something. I tried to... Wow, look how hard these guys hit. This is nuts. I usually don't lose this much life because I got quite a bit of life. I got a lot of fortify as well. And I uh, wonder if my fire resistance is low because they just they just hit very, very hard. We're hitting hard as well. Everything is exploding, but yeah, that that I'm not used to seeing. Okay, let me finish my thoughts. So as as I am transitioning to world tier four. We are going to be getting Ancestral items, which will be a lot better than the Sacred items that we have now. And, of course, at level 73, you have a chance to gamble for Ancestral items as well. So we are going to be stocking, uh, stockpiling for that, stocking up for that. And uh, that would be good. Hopefully, we'll get a new weapon, better, some better gear. But the boots right now, I'm loving. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm just going to pick up all this yellow stuff for now. I don't think there's anything that I really, really need. I have been experimenting with some of these builds here. Um, sometimes it goes really well. It's, it's interesting. And sometimes we're just taking so much damage. It's crazy. These guys definitely hit really hard. And there's so much AoE. This is exactly why. Was that a 50k hit? Wow, that was actually pretty good. That's the first time I've seen a 50k hit. But uh, this is exactly why I left... Cold, I left cold resistance on those boots because you need it. Sometimes you just need it. These boots had... Let me go back and take a look. These boots actually have 33.4 cold resistance. So that's actually pretty good. And uh, reduced slow duration. I'm loving the boots. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. These guys hit so hard. <laughs> oh, my God. For I'm, I'm actually surprised. They go down really fast, but they just hit super, super hard. For a tier 8 dungeon, um, killing them is not the problem. The problem is actually just taking a ton of damage. And I got pretty good life. I got a lot of fortify. I got 2,000 life. Uh, I did lose a little bit of life. Oh, what happened there? Where did it go, George? So I got 2,000 of life. I lost a little bit, and then I have a fortify, so that's 4,000 plus the barrier. So we're sitting closer to, of course, when we are in bear form, uh, we're sitting at uh, over 5,000 for sure. Look how, look how much damage we're doing. So this build, if you are interested in playing the bear, this build is a lot of fun. He is very, very tanky. He is not the best damage dealer. He does okay. He's not the best damage dealer. You're not going to be killing bosses in three seconds, but he's also extremely tanky. You're not going to have to worry about making a slight mistake like rogue players and then paying for it with your life. This dungeon does seem to hit up pretty hard. But we're doing all right. Let's... Uh, Try not to dodge that. There's a ton of AoE. And, of course, it is a Nightmare 8 dungeon. We got some drops. Ooh, nice. We got a nice unique. So this is really cool. Not bad. If a core skill hits five or more enemies, 20% of its resource cost is refunded. So, unfortunately, a low roll, 20% uh, is the lowest there. It goes all the way to 40. 40 would have been nice. Maybe we can... I don't know if that would go up to 50 if we... Uh, Upgrade it, but it's still pretty good. Core skill, if you don't know, of course, is our Polarize. Polarize is our core skill. I have rank 7 out of 5 right now. Plus, on my gloves, I have when we fortify, it gives us another 2 ranks to Earth. And uh, Pulverize is actually an Earth skill, wherever that is. Pulverize is now an Earth skill. After casting Pulverize, we get Tectonic Spikes. 
this puppy goes up to uh, 9 out of 5. And we only have two ranks of pulverize on the gloves. So we are going to need, uh, we can we can get some more, right? The top gloves max out at plus 4. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade our glyphstone. I am still experimenting with this shapeshifter. Grants a 55% bonus to all rare nodes. And shapeshifting has 20% chance to cause the skill's damage to critically strike. So since this is my core skill and it shapeshifts me, 20% uh, chance to critical strike. That's pretty good considering we are constantly shifting in and out until we get our tunic to be full-time bear. So right now, I'm going to continue leveling this one for now. And we're going to jump into the next dungeon. All right, so that was tier 8. The next on the list is tier 10. Uh, reduce the cooldowns on kills, which is nice. Killing a monster reduces your cooldowns by 0.2 seconds. And then the dungeon affixes are Stormbane's Wrath. Stormbane's Wrath chases players around releasing deadly pulses. So we have to uh, dodge that. And then monsters have additional shadow damage. 15% of their physical damage is uh, dealt as shadow. This one is tier 10. The monsters are 63. That's right. The monsters are level 63 because you have to add 53 levels to the monster levels. So if it's a tier 10 dungeon, monsters are level 63. That would make sense. For some reason, I was expecting them to be 73. Maybe I'm in a hurry to... Uh, let's go ahead and I'm out of out of spirit. Can't do anything there. Um, let's, let's go ahead and continue. I think I'm in a hurry. I keep wanting to go to Worldstone Tier 4. I almost made it. Not quite. It was a little tough, but that was also at level 59 before I got any of the potions. So now that I got a potion upgrade, I got some better gear. Let's fortify. Uh, now that I got a uh, potion upgrade at level 60, if you did not know, there is a potion upgrade at level 60. So that's pretty good there. Barrier time. Uh, these guys are not dying. That's why. Because... Aha. Here we go. All right, so one guy left here, one guy left there. Let's just run him right over <laughs> and uh, continue moving on. So these guys are fairly easy. They're, they're dying in one hit. Still uh, can't stand and stuff. This is a nightmare dungeon, right? They do increase damage, so you do have to build uh, somewhat tanky. Can't, uh, you know, can't just have no defense, but that's why we're playing the bear. I really enjoy taking characters. I switched. Originally, I started as Barbarian Spin the Wind, which is a lot of fun. And uh, I swapped it to the bear. Uh, totally missed that one. Tried to charge down there. Let's uh, evade. Get out of that. Let's pop our bear. Might as well go full bear. See what we can do here. Oh, there we go. Another sigil there. By the way, you can craft sigils if you did not know. You can actually craft these puppies. I have so many of them. I got tier 11s, uh, 15, 14, 16. And uh, I ate that one like a champ. So... Let's uh, let's let's continue moving since this thing is chasing us and, and trying to everything in here is trying to kill us. So that is the fun of it. But the gear that's dropping is a little bit better, which is really nice. And the experience is good. I also have a potion, poison potion. I thought this was the snake one. Maybe it's not, but poison resistance is always good. Something is always poisoned. Oh, look at this guy. I ran away from him. I ran away from that stone that does the AOE, <laughs> and it spawned in front of me, so can't uh, can't get away from that. All right. We have three prisoners left and a shrine. Let's go ahead and grab the shrine since we are far away. I was checking the map to see how far I am. Just a regular protection shrine. Okay. Uh, blast wave is really cool. Artillery is really, really nice. I was checking the map to see how far I was away from the main boss because sometimes you can get that shrine, take it with you, do a little bit of damage to the boss. By the way, we are 12 out of 12 potions and uh, we are slowly continuing to increase our difficulty. In the last episode, which was the uh, first episode, we, uh, we started with 5, we ran a 5, then we ran an 8. In this one, we started with an 8, now we're at a 10, another protection shrine. Uh, this one is not cursed, which is okay. Cursed, cursed shrines are nice. They spawn lots of mobs, so you get a ton of experience. Let's uh, travel to the egg chambers. Okay, so the egg chamber is up there. Right on we go. Going into the egg chamber. Oh, man, this one is uh, lots of spikes. Lots of... I was, I was correct. <laughs> we did need the poison resistance potion for this one. Um, yeah, so by the way, if you did not know, you can... 
I lose my train of thought because I'm trying not to die. You can craft nightmare sigils. <laughs> you can craft nightmare sigils. I made a video on how to craft them. If you are stuck, you have to clear stage three. Tier three is what you have to clear. Let's try to not die because I know he's going to... There we go. That is why I got the run speed. As soon as you clear tier three, you can do that solo or with a friend. Uh, solo will take a little bit of time because they... It is going to take a little bit of time to drop. Or you can just... You can have a friend run you through. And uh, I'm always looking for friends until my friend list gets completely filled up. If you want to be my BNet friend, reach out to me in Discord. and uh, Or leave me a comment. I really don't want to post it publicly. I have in a couple of videos. But I know that the space is limited. So he goes down. We just bullied him out of here. Let's go ahead and grab this. Uh, there is limited space. We are going to run out. We got room for three more. But we are going to run out at some point. Is this thing cursed? It is cursed. Can we uh, run him over? There we go. So the nice thing is, with trample, we can just trample him right into a wall. Stuns him, and then uh, we can just finish him off. So that is pretty good. He did wall us in. Not too bad. Let's uh, pop the chest. See what's in here. Nothing. Sacred Jojo staff. Nothing great there. These guys are hanging out waiting for me already. Just going to run them down. And then we're gonna go bear rage. Uh, for right now, let's 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 jump out of that a little. I can't even can't even I can't even move because I got walled in. Everything's on cooldown. Man, that felt really bad. How do you like it? How do you like it? <laughs> Between the extra damage that they do and the poisons, oh. And this guy's like, nope, he's out. So that that that's a thing. So yeah, this is why I'm not playing nightmare or hardcore. Uh, I am playing nightmare, but that's why I'm not playing hardcore because. Things like that happen, and then all of a sudden you get walled in, you get stunned, and ooh, is that a... No, that's a regular. I got really excited. I thought that might have been a sacred or a unique, but it's not. So let's take a look at the staff. Everything is trying to kill us. You need so much sustain in here. It's nuts. Grizzly Rage does help. There's a fire trap on the bottom. Let's uh, try to get out of that so we don't explode. Everything is out to murder us. So as you are, if you are watching these videos, I hope you're having a good time. I hope you're enjoying the calm commentary. I try to commentate what I'm doing. Sometimes I get off track because everything's trying to kill us. But for the most part, I try to talk through what I'm doing, why. And uh, if you are trying to or if you wanted to play a bear, bear's a lot of fun. Bear's a lot of fun. You could definitely do that. Hopefully it's working out for you. Just keep in mind, it is. You do have to do a specific build. Uh, one thing you do want to focus on is the earth skills deal 45% more damage or 45 to 60, wherever you put that. And then, of course, the damage scales off of fortify. And so the other thing that I have, I have a couple of synergies working together. One of them is actually up here now. It used to be on my boots. Um, yeah. I got run over there. Let's not do that again. And I do extra damage to slow enemies, to crowd control enemies, because all of my earth skills are now, now uh, crowd control, slow everything down. So that works out really nice. Really enjoyable. And whenever we have a barrier up, which is going to be the earth and bulwark, it also pops when we hit an elite. Whenever we have a barrier up, we deal extra damage as well. Oh, no. Are you kidding? The bo We found the butcher. We found the butcher. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone, you bully. This guy This guy is tough. We can we can take him, but we got to clear everything else out. <laughs> Leave me alone, you bully. Um, I don't know if you've gotten a chance to find the bu Oh, this is not a good place to do it, right? We're with the ward of eyes as well. Uh, I don't know if you've had a chance to play around with the butcher just yet. He is very tough. He tends to deal a ton of damage, especially when you are standing still. When you are toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, he just goes ham. So uh, one of the things you got to watch out for is there a. I don't. I don't even think. Uh, I don't even. I don't even think there's a shrine here anywhere. <laughs> I don't want to die to this. How do people play hardcore characters? Uh, this is very... This is turning out to be very spicy. Let's, uh, see. Does he... Oh, he hooked me. I thought he was gonna run. And I was waiting for him to charge. I was gonna dodge it. By the way, Trample can stun most enemies, but not the Butcher. You can... Let's get out of that. We are in cooldown. You can, um... If you Trample one of the enemies into a wall, it does stun them. 
Uh, but uh, not look at look at him go. I just I wonder if he picks up speed as as he is fighting. I wonder if he picks up speed. So we need to try and be very very careful. Let's run right through him. I am waiting on my cooldown. <laughs> waiting on my cooldown. This is uh. This thing's driving me nuts, too. This is, like, absolutely insane. The Butcher is just... He is... Oh, my goodness. He's just pushing us around. Um, bear on Butcher Violence. I guess it's okay. We've seen worse. I don't want to get hooked. So, if you if you run away, he hooks you. If you stand near a wall... Oh, no, 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 no. No, let's get out of that. Yeah. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Let's get away from the eye. I, I ran in the wrong direction because it actually stuns. Uh, that is not very much fun. Oh, that's great. I pulled more mobs. This is gonna be a... This is gonna be a disaster. This is gonna be an absolute disaster. I got almost no potions left. I'm... It's full panic mode, everybody. We are in full panic mode. The Butcher, if you look at his life, his life is low. However... His life is low, but uh, he's got a really big barrier now. Let's go ahead and fortify. Maybe dodge some of those. Wait for the charge to come back up again. There's a potion. Let's grab that potion. I'm down to four. Was at three. I'm down to four now. I want to try to keep him somewhere around here. Ooh, boy. Yikes. Yeah, he's angry. He's angry. Uh, he did... He just headbutted me. Let's pop a potion. Charge through him. Roar him. Hopefully, he'll do less damage. The debilitating roar should... Make him do 70% less damage. That is what it's supposed to do. I'm out of spirit. Help somebody help. <laughs> oh, no. I totally missed that one. I got one potion left. No. <laughs> if you haven't fought the butcher yet, I'm going to tell you right now. This guy is a monster. He just goes ham. We got him, everybody. We got the butcher. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Uh, moment to breathe. Uh... Where is the thank you? Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. That was an absolute disaster. But we got him. So that's the second time I've killed the Butcher. I've been killed by him a couple of times. Uh, you know what? In hindsight, I should have just done this. I, we should have just... Because, yeah, they're passive now. So you can just kind of... Although, I don't know if the Butcher is passive uh in the bubble once you complete the dungeon you get this bubble nothing can damage you nothing aggroes you uh that would be an interesting thought what do you guys think is the butcher i'd like to see if anybody's tested this complete the dungeon and uh see if the butcher just kind of stands there and lets you kill him that was uh that was fun that was a lot of fun <laughs> let's go ahead and level up our glyph and that's gonna do it for this video if you're enjoying these videos do me a huge favor hit the like and the subscribe and leave me a nice comment down below. And for more Bear Cozy videos, check out the top right. We're going to continue doing this.